is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below Mm-hmm. nice you have love coming towards you gemini that's you showing up in your reading beautiful looks like you're dealing with a twin flame there is someone here your twin flame's coming back if this is not your twin flame who you've not been in separation with someone out here who you're gonna be in a very very deep twin flame connection with okay this is the twin flame i have nothing more to say here but looks like this is someone here who you've been in separation with for a very long time someone who probably could be someone here you know who wasn't being able to give you commitment or someone here who was not wanting to be emotionally uh involved in this connection as much as you were okay they're ready i'm getting someone's ready here tell me more could be dealing with another gemini there could be something very very different between you guys okay yeah but see someone's holding back communication this person feels that twin twin flame connection with you they feel this strong connect with you okay it could also be that you need to make a choice here but there's someone here who could have been holding back communication or is holding back communication here okay that's what we got in the beginning right the ace of swords in reverse here this person has a lot to tell you they want to make things right this is someone here you know who was um who uh things weren't fair okay things weren't balanced this person did something unfair probably even cheated uh but something wasn't balanced in the past okay someone's coming in to right or wrong with you okay they want to make things right they want to make things fair and very very balanced someone out here is wanting to be very very practical okay and um yes yeah, so this person wants to balance the scales with you okay they want they realize they weren't fair in the past i'm getting that either this person had to choose between you and another person or this person was just not ready for something deeper okay not ready for a deeper commitment now they are but they're holding back communication for for some reason could be missing a lot of opportunities because this person just feels i mean you know they have a lot to say they have a lot to tell you and this is on their mind justice is on their mind they want to make things fair but they just don't know how to is also what i'm getting here anymore yeah you on the other hand here uh i think you at this person has kept you on wait okay for the longest period okay you've been on hold for a very long time you're releasing yourself from this person is what i'm getting or this situation so i feel you're releasing yourself from a situation that you felt very uh stuck in okay so you're getting out of that stagnant mode and you're just disconnecting from this person it's like you know what i'm no longer waiting for you you may have realized that i'm the one for you or you may have realized you want to commit now but i'm not going to wait for you around anymore all this i'm getting only because this person just won't talk okay they have so much to say to you but they just won't talk and what's worse is that they keep boasting you okay this person's in habit mode here i feel this person's had a lot of deep contemplation about what they really want from from life or what they want from you they've thrown you know it's like they've put a lot of uh, light on what exactly is going on in this connection here so yeah with the hangman here the hermit here i'm getting a lot of waiting energy here okay so this person could have taken a lot of time you know to come back towards you and i think you're not waiting around yeah but this person's done a lot of soul searching okay a lot of soul searching This person, one thing I'll tell you, they miss you like crazy, but you'll never know. This is someone here who could live forever alone. Okay, this person likes to fly solo. Okay, so there are chances this person would even never get committed and never get married. Or I mean, even if they do love you so much, there are chances they never even tell you how much they feel. Okay, that's just how they are. It's not your fault. Yeah, there is a lack of um, illumination here, but I'm getting as someone here who's being either very overly. We'll have to check that out. But I'm getting someone who, where there's a lack of, uh, there's a lack of clarity here. Someone's having a hard time looking at things in a more positive way. Okay, someone's lacking optimism and faith in this connection here. But this could be someone here who has a lot of uh, unrealistic expectations also from this connection here. Maybe this person feels you want to, you should be with them without a commitment. You know, maybe they feel that um, it's okay not to be in a commitment, something like that, uh, whatever. But it's a little unrealistic. Okay, they're not being realistic about what they want. Or this is just someone here whose ego is at play, because I did see the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Yeah. See, there's so much fear here. I had one more card flip out. Yeah, there was so much fear here. You know, someone out here is uh, constantly thinking about the situation in a very negative way. See the moon upright and the sun in reverse, almost the same thing, right? So there's a lot of fear here around this connection here. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have Pisces twice here. Ah, uh, you could be dealing with someone here. Okay, I feel you're giving up. You know, Gemini. I feel you're giving up because this person's taking forever to come towards you. Although they are, they are. 
I just feel that you're giving up here. And because this person won't talk, right? I feel you're just suppressing your feelings or you're just thinking of the worst outcome that can happen, okay, between you guys. Give me one more card here. I think you're living a lot in your head. Yeah, see, they're coming in. They're coming in with a page of cups. They're coming in with an apology. I just feel that it's going to take a little longer than you expected it, okay? Maybe they're just, just around the corner. I feel they're just around the corner. But that's what's happening. What's the lovers here? What's the lovers here? What's the lovers? Yeah, someone's constantly stressing, okay, about this new beginning with you. This person wants to offer you something practical, some practical, something stable, something committed. But again, it's that crossroads, okay? This person's at a crossroads here and they don't know what to do about this. I'm getting someone here who constantly doubts themselves, okay? Of whether they can make it happen with you or not. Well, no God for the lovers. Yeah, this is all about commitment. Okay, it's all about commitment. Like I said before, this person is constantly stressing day and night. Maybe you wanted commitment with this person in the past. They didn't give it to you. And now they're stressing about how they can come back towards you. They know they messed up. Okay, they know they didn't make, they didn't treat you right. So yeah, now they're stressing about how they can come towards you with this new beginning here. And you know, make things happen with you. But stability is on their mind. Why are they holding back? What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why would they hold back? <laughs> Because they know that if they don't come to, towards you, correct, you're, you're cutting their head off. That's for sure. They're intimidated by you, okay? And how? See, this person's coming here. They're watching you from a distance, okay? They're just trying to keep an eye on you. That's for sure. But for right now, looks like the move is going to come towards you probably, say, by mid-May or something like that. But there is an apology coming in. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords and Rivers. They're scared. They're afraid of what to tell you. They don't know how you're going to react. They don't even know if you're going to give them another opportunity here. Yeah, this person loves you. Okay. You both love each other. For you both, this is a wish fulfillment. Okay. You're both on the same page with the Ten of Cups. This is a happily ever after commitment. They want this with you, but they just don't know how to because they know they've hurt you in the past. Okay. One more card for the Knight of Swords and Rivers, please. Yeah, this person's too guarded, man. They're too guarded. Their guards are up. They're very scared, very afraid. They're intimidated. It's like they would want to say so much to you, but they'll just keep holding back. They'll keep holding back. Let's see. Uh, what's the hangman in reverse? What's the hangman in reverse? Yeah. Now you're blocking yourself out is what I'm getting here. You're you're coming off from this place of resentment is what I'm getting here, okay? I think you are uh, working and focusing on yourself, okay? I think somewhere, somehow you probably felt that you guys could have worked together. You guys could have, you know, uh, been really badass together. But the thing is that now your cards are up. You're at a, I mean, you're not wanting to even listen to this person anymore is what I'm getting, even if this person comes into words. And I think you're pretty straightforward and honest about it if, when you, if and when you communicate with this person. What's the hermit? What's the hermit? This person wants to move things forward with you, okay? They really want success with you. They want victory with you and they're ready to take action. So what's the hold up? Mm. But I think that being very cold and detached, I think this person, one moment they want to take action towards you, the next moment they try to be logical, okay? That's what the hold up is. That's where they're not sure about what to do with you. But I mean, what to do about this connection here. But this that's what's keeping this person in that loop of being, of overthinking and overanalyzing this entire connection here. You're dealing with a massive overthinker here, okay? So yeah, I mean, that's going to take time. I mean, till they don't get out of their head. What's the sun in reverse? This person misses you, okay? This person misses you a lot. I think this is you who's having a hard time trying to focus on the on the positive aspect of this relationship or even focus on your happiness is what I'm getting overall. You have a very pessimistic attitude towards this person. Like, you know what? It's never going to work out. I feel even with the memories, even with the relationship, even with the connection being so strong here with the two of cups and six of cups, I feel that somewhere, somehow here, this, this uh, person or this connection has left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? This has, this is a very strong connection with the lovers and the six of cups here. That's a very strong connection here. But I think this is someone, you know, who's left a bad taste in your mouth. And now you're like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on myself, my stability, my security. And you just don't 
You're feeling very hopeless. See, star and reverse. You're feeling very hopeless about this connection. What's the moon here? Like, it's like it's never gonna happen. This person is never coming back, etc. What's the moon? What's the moon? This person is stuck in their head, you know. They're coming in their own way. A lot of fear that's stopping them. What if... Gemini rejects me. What if it doesn't work out? What if Gemini cuts me off? What if Gemini never speaks to me again? What if Gemini rejects my offer? You know, a fear of rejection. A lot of fear about what is going to happen before it's already happened. In short, okay. So this person is someone here. You're, this is the one person you're dealing with. I think you're both in the same energy here. You also have a lot of, you feel the strong connection, okay? You feel the strong soulmate pull, okay? But you're just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to focus on myself. This person out here is more like, oh my God, I don't know what's going to happen. Is it too late? Will this ever work out, etc. They're stuck in their own head because of which they're waiting. The, the entire fucking life, their entire months and years are going by. And they'll just wait for their entire life going by in front of them. It's just passing by and they just won't do anything about it. Except just keep an eye on you. What's the point? What's the point? You'd rather just move on and let this person move on, right? What's the point? You feel such a strong connection. You want everything, but you won't make a move. It's like, you know what I'm getting? This person wants to come in and they don't want to get rejected by you. Really. They don't want to get rejected by you. It's like, if I come in towards Gemini, they got to say a yes, okay? They don't want to hear that rejection. They're not very good with... Um, uh, taking rejections or accepting rejections. But, oh yeah, they're very good with rejecting people, yeah? The star in reverse. This person's getting a taste and of what they did in the past to you. The star in the reverse. Yeah. You're losing hope and faith is what I'm getting here, but you're very focused on your career, your goals, your money, okay? That's what I'm getting, Gemini. It's like, you know what? You're like, I, I, I don't even care if it's ever going to work out. You know, that's a very negative mindset that you have towards this person here. Yeah. You're not being able to see any ray of hope that this will ever work out, okay? And you're like, you know what? Instead of focusing on this person or focusing on this connection, if it's not going to work out, I'd rather focus on my financial independence, my financial stability, and just let the bygones be bygones, let the past be in the past, and just keep moving on. And the moment you do that, bam, page of cups. What's the page of cups here? Yeah, they're coming in with a passion of the beginning here. One more card, the page of cups. This person wants a brand new beginning with you. They want to start a clean slate. Basically, like I said, right? Yeah, but this person's very conflicted in their head, okay? They're very conflicted. What to do about this, okay? That's why they're coming up as a silly page here. This person out here, in short, I'm just going to tell you, when this person comes in, they just want you to forget everything that happened. Uh, I don't even know if they want to apologize to you or what, but it's like, you know what? If I come in to you, Gemini, I don't want to hear all the bullshit. I don't want to hear, oh, you did this to me, you did this to me, okay? Let's just start all over again and let's just pretend nothing really happened. Yeah, sure. You know? But that's what's happening. One more card for the page of cards. That's what's happening. Yeah, they're coming in. They want a reconciliation here, okay? Although they have a lot of regret, they have a lot of disappointment. They know you've been very disappointed in them. They know they've disappointed you to the core. But they still want to come in towards you wanting to reconciliation, wanting a brand new start with you, okay? But it's that tug of war in their head, you know? What to do next, how to do this, how to get Gemini back, okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. And do check out the, the link to the extension. Blip. All right, I'll see you. Bye-bye.